ProBeerReviews.com. This is a video that I thought I had on our YouTube channel, but uh, clearly, uh, well over a year ago, there must have been some sort of download glitch, and it was not on there. So MicroBeerReviews.com, one of our uh, most popular hits on our website, is what in the world are the playing caps on the back of a Pabst Blue Ribbon bottle? So every Pabst Blue, Blue Ribbon bottle, it's a twist top, we have the review of the beer on our website and our YouTube channel as well. You will notice there are playing card symbols. So this is a jack of spades. You have uh, nine, eight of diamonds, king of spades. So what in the world are these things all about? Well, the research, if you look on the Paps Blue Ribbon website, is they're used in bars to play games and to win prizes. So, um... I've actually never seen this happen in a bar. I think this is a cool idea. But essentially, the way I understand it is uh, the bar will actually, you know, call out um, Jack of Spades. Anybody have Jack of Spades? You just want a free PBR. Or they'll say, they'll actually play a game similar similar to cards. So you'll have your, your caps all, all down here. And, uh, you know, if anybody has a Royal Flush or anybody has two of a kind, or anybody has, you know, three diamonds, then they win something. So, just something fun. Um, this reminds me of, of uh, PBR has been around well over 100 years. And what's cool about this is if you remember um, way back when stores started, so we're talking turn of the century, they used to have games in the, in the stores. Uh, you didn't necessarily win money, but you could win prizes. So it wasn't like gambling because you weren't winning financial, monetary money. You were winning goods. And what those games and these little machines were used for was to keep people in the store so then maybe they would buy something else. But it keeps them in the store. So this, I've always thought as if somebody is having a PBR and then they start playing the game, they're going to have another PBR to get another one. And they could probably sit there and end up drinking who knows how many PBRs because they want to play the game, so they keep buying more and drinking more because they might have the potential to win one more. So that's kind of how I take this. I think it's a cool idea. So next time you crack open a PBR cap, check it out. I've actually uh, known people that have collected these and then posted them on like a, a board or, or hot glued them to things um, just to see if they could get the whole deck. So that's what the playing cards are. Uh, a lot of people call these playing cards insignias are on the bottom of a PBR bottle cap. So that's our little fun beer fact on PBR at microbeerreviews.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.